So, what I first look at is the outside dimensions of the package. The width and the height are A and B dimensions. So, and we are in millimeters. So I need to set up my environment to make sure that I'm in the appropriate uh, setup. So let's go to File and then New in PCB Editor. And then choose Package Symbol. Not Package Symbol Wizard, but just Package Symbol. Now I'm going to click Browse. And then we're going to, I'm going to get to these eventually. But let's just go to Complex Footprints and I'll create a new folder called Gallium Nitride. GS, uh, actually, let's delete that. GS66504B. And actually, I'll control A. Or B. All right. Yeah, I was supposed to create a new folder. <laughs> All right, so now the file name within that folder will be gs66504b in uh, and it is a symbol drawing type so click open and that is the name of the drawing the packet symbol then click OK next what we're going to do is check to see if our setup is good so click on the setup tab then click on design parameters click on the design tab and make sure that your units are in mills all right, so uh, actually, that's my mistake. Make sure they're in millimeters. Now, why do I choose millimeters? That's because I checked the data sheet and the units are in millimeters, so that's why. And now, the units are also in inches, but I prefer the millimeters just because that's the primary units that they use. If they use inches as their primary measurement, then I would go with inches. All right, so back in the PCB editor, choose millimeter and then click apply. Next, we'll go with Display, Tab, and then click on Setup Grids. Now, the grid spacing is set to 2.54 in the non-etch spacing. So, what do you what do you put the spacing as when you're working with the package? Usually, I like to go at, with the precision of the data sheet. So, go back to the data sheet. Check that the A dimension is 5.01 millimeters. Now, there is greater precision, like to a thousandth of a millimeter, but I don't think that much, uh, that high precision is necessary. I'm just going to go with the one hundredth of a millimeter. So I'm going to go back to PCB Editor and choose the spacing in the X non etch spacing to be 0 0.01 millimeters, and the Y the same, 0 0.01 millimeters. I'm also going to choose all etch spacing to be. 0 0.01 millimeters and in the Y 0 0.01 millimeters. All right, click OK. You can turn the grids on if that's what you prefer. I like the grids to be off, so I just uncheck it and then click apply and then click OK. All right, so scroll down to zoom out. Your origin should be uh, should show up. Now, if you can't find your origin, this can be a common problem. If you can't find your origin, go back to Setup, click on Design Parameters, and just choose Design. Now, notice the there's a Move Origin option in the X and the Y. Going down to the left here, our origin is actually down in the 0, 0 coordinate. So I'm going to change that to, if you look at my mouse cursor, and if you look at the coordinates down here, You'll see that it's around 240 can be the center. So let's choose 240 in the X move margin. And in the Y move margin field, click on there. And also put that as 240. And then hit tab. Then click apply. Then click OK. All right. So now we have the origin in the center. Okay. Now that is just setting up the environment. 